What's up everybody, welcome to Magic for Beginners. My name is Keith and in today's video we're going to be looking at and reviewing a downloadable magic trick called Pretty Penny by Michael John and this can be found on Penguin Magic website. So what is Pretty Penny? The ad copy for this trick states that it's the best coin in bottle ever and is one of the biggest magic discoveries of the century. For the trick you can essentially take a coin and have it visually melt through a bottle and give it away as an impossible souvenir. There's a number of different routines which you can perform with this including one which is a spectator can help in making the coin impossibly fit into the opening of the bottle under a napkin. This is perfect for social media videos and can also be done in person too. So how much does this cost? On the Penguin website you can find this for $19.95 which is about £15.70 in British pounds I think which is great value for a download. Here's a quick performance of the trick which is performed by Michael in the trailer and is on the instructions too just so you can get a, a rough feel of what it is. Take a few doesn't matter. Penny and a quarter. Okay. Um, are you righty or lefty? I'm right-handed. You're right-handed? So what I'm going to do is um, use your, your left hand for this. Okay, I'm just going to place the bottle on top of the penny and the quarter. Can you just hold on to the mouth like that? Okay. Hold it real steady. So do this just right. Can you see the, the quarter and the penny down there? Yes. Yeah. Try not to move. Stay perfectly still. Yes. Don't lift up or down. Just hold it still. Okay. You're going up. Yep. Just like that. Slowly lift. Oh. Oh. Okay. And the crazy part you can see. Okay. 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 Let's see. <laughs> So when you buy this, what do you get with it? As stated in the intro, this is a download and you get no gimmicks or anything at all. It's all done digitally. You'll receive a video which is just under 44 minutes long and has a bunch of performances and also explanations on how to do a few different effects. The main bulk of the tutorial features talks about how you can have this coin in bottle prepared, ready to perform, and also how you can do one which is done on the fly too, without any preparation, so you can do the trick whenever you want. After the prep work is done with, you then taught four different variations of how to perform this effect, and all can be done in person and video. There's the optical rise, which is by far my favorite one, as it's amazingly visual, and with some cleanup work can be done in person, even though it looks like a can't. There's also the quarter penny, the penny push, and the penny slam. You don't need any gimmick bottle or any gimmick coins at all. You do, however, need to use a specific bottles like a Corona bottle or a Modelo bottle and an American penny. But for the UK magicians, it can only be done with a cork bottle and a 5p, which does limit how and where you can do this, but based on those things. I did read that a US dime works with a cork bottle too, for those Americans that are watching. The thing which you need to do is um, grab a bunch of different bottles and some coins and experiment with this to see which ones will fit perfectly and which ones need to be prepared prior to the performance, but all of this is covered in the download. I'm still looking through different bottles and coins in the UK to see which ones match, so I'll keep updated on that. As stated, you can use a borrowed coin and a borrowed bottle, but if you're using a borrowed bottle, you have to check the bottle to see which method you can use for the trick. That's despite using a Corona bottle or a Coke bottle, the, they're actually manufactured differently and this is where the experimenting comes into play before going out to perform with this. Some of the Corona bottles are made in a different factory so you have two slightly different ones. One of them works, one of them doesn't. The one that doesn't work you have to do a different method to the other one and the same for the Coke bottles but once you've experimented for a while you should be able to get the gist of it and see which one works and which one doesn't. Can you inspect this? Yes, you can hand out the bottle, and for the coin inside, after inspection, you perform this trick. The coin is genuinely inside the bottle. The only way to release it would be to break the bottle and get the coin out. There's no sleight of hands, no flipper coins, nothing like that at all to get the coin in the bottle, because the prep work done prior to the trick, or done right on the spectator's nose, depending on the bottle and the coin, you do that in the performance. So if you do the effect without the prep bottle, the work needed to get it working is minimal if you checked out prior things before performing it, which means you can borrow a coin and someone's bottle they're using to drink from and perform this. Even if the bottle's half full, you can still take that, put the coin in. Before we head on with the review, I just want to stop and ask those who aren't subscribed to the channel, it would mean the world if you could subscribe as it would help the channel massively. Having the more subscribers and viewers, it would help push out these videos to people who want to watch them and who would like to watch them and 
this would be pretty painful to me. Yeah, something. I don't know. But is it well made? Yes, the tutorial download is well made and there's good video quality and audio. The instructions isn't rushed and it makes it very clear about the effect and how to perform it. There's nuances over the different routines and performance ways to do things using this method, along with the in-depth tutorials of how to prepare the bottle and coin. One of the positives with this is the price of the effect, as it's a great price for a download, I think. And once you've learned this, it's one of the most visual coin in bottle effects that I've seen in a long, long time. Usually it's wham bam, thank you ma'am, quick and sporadic movement to make the coin appear. So to slam it in the bottle, that sort of thing. But the optical rise can be formed very slow and of course is super visual. This is such a fun and great discovery for 2024, I think, and opens up some new options for impossible coin and bottle routines. and allows you to gift the spectator the coin and bottle and there's nothing left to raise any suspicious evidence or tomfoolery according to the spectators. That coin is genuinely in the bottle and can't come out. As a positive, we've got negatives, so let's talk about some of these. For social media video, this is fantastic, but these can be all performed with an audience too, but please be aware that some of these routines to be used for this effect depend on audience angles. Some of the tricks require audience management, but is easily handled for seasoned performers. One of the ways to prepare the bottle may take someone a few minutes to do, so that's one thing to bear in mind about it all. So if you want to perform this multiple times a night, unless you take the bottle back from the spectator after you've performed the trick, you're gonna to have to prepare multiple bottles ready to use. But again, with one of the ways to prepare this, it can be done on the fly and while performing, so you can do this whilst doing any other routine, but it's bottle dependent, of course. As stated about a coin and bottle to use, this is specific bottles which you need to use. And in the tutorial, it's USA based and uses the US penny. So for people in the UK, unless we introduce these coins for coin tricks, we have to use our currency. And due to this, I found that I needed to use a Coke bottle and a 5p. So I couldn't use Corona like in the like in the video. I'll be experimenting with other bottles and coins to see what I can get used to, such as Budweiser, Heineken, as that's usually some of the bottles used at venues and places in the UK. So that's a bit of a negative for people outside of the US who want to use this. I also got some Modelo bottles and tried that. The 5P goes in super easy, so you can't use that because as you can see, it's just like you put a coin in. The 1P is too big for it, so I can't use that. So it's just trying to experiment with different bottles and different coins and see what works. The other option as well is you can have a mess around with Euro coins. So you can say, I've just been on holiday, been shown this trick, or you just performed this trick and found it great. So you can use Euro coins and introduce those because that's not like some foreign currency like a US dollar or US penny to the UK. A lot of people from the UK will have euros left over from holidays, so that's one option as well. I'm not sure which bottles work with that as I'm still yet to experiment with euro coins, but I've just come back from Turkey so I've got some with me, so I'm gonna try that out and see what I can get up with. Hope you enjoyed the review and found it useful or helpful. If you did, please drop a comment on the video to let me know. I've got some other fantastic reviews coming up on the channel soon as well, so keep an eye out for those. And if you want to check out more reviews from me, check out the playlist on the, the screen now, which is a, a video link, and there's also a link in description. So until next time, see ya!